In no particular order, here are our top 5 gravel bike trends for 2022. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. We're going to start our list with two simple words, which on their own are fairly innocent, but when combined together and put in front of the eyes of the cycling public can create a whirlwind of discussion and controversy in the comments. Gravel Suspension Yes, more and more gravel bikes are now coming with proper suspension, be that front, rear or mixture of the two, which in many people's not totally unjustified view turns them merely into mountain bikes. Now, while the issue is a little bit more nuanced and subtle than that, they do kind of have a point, but we digress. In recent years, there has been a steady stream of products aimed at providing more comfort for drop bar bikes on rough roads. Some have stuck around. The Cannondale Lefty Fork and Specialized Future Shock are two key examples, while others have not. 2022 will see the gravel suspension game turn up another notch, with RockShox officially entering the arena with its Explore Fork and Dropper Post, as well as a host of other components. Now, despite your preconceptions, these really aren't just slimmed down mountain bike parts repurposed for the gravel market. They are designed specifically for gravel bikes which results in more practical differences than you might imagine. If you want an in-depth look at the Explore range, then there's a link to our video in the description below. So with RockShox joining the likes of Fox, Lauf and the aforementioned Cannondale, the gravel bike suspension market seems to be only gathering pace. But what do you think? Does adding suspension to a gravel bike simply make them mountain bikes? Let us know what you think in the comments. Gravel riding means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. As per our last point, some people like their gravel bikes to be super capable on the trails, while others may want to attach lots of bags to theirs and ride a very long way. Some even like to ride them as fast as they can with groups of other people in a genre we believe is called gravel racing. Jokes aside, as gravel has become ever more popular, so has its race scene, with races like Unbound now drawing serious pros from the world over, as well as scores of amateurs looking for a seriously spicy challenge. And bikes like the recently released Cervelo Aspero are just the sort of machine you could reasonably see winning Unbound. The Aspero has everything a gravel racer could dream of, being both lightweight and matched with hosts of aero claims that any budding marketing manager could truly dream of. Although, with a price tag of £8,000 for the cheapest option and no luggage mounts to speak of, it's unlikely the Aspero will be used as a do-it-all cargo hauling gravel bike of old, but is clearly designed for go-fast podium wins. With UCI stepping in and introducing the first rules into the world of gravel racing last year, we're sure we're going to see many more gravel bikes built with aero gains and pure racing as their key focus in the years to come. While our next trend definitely applies to gravel bikes, it could also apply to the whole of cycling. Tire clearances just keep getting wider. Now we've been banging this drum for a long old time, but hopefully by now many people realise the benefits of wider rubber. Wider tyres can add extra comfort, reduce the chances of punctures and in some cases they can even roll faster than narrow tyres. Gravel riding is no exception to this trend, with tyre clearances on some gravel bikes matching those of mountain bikes only a few short years ago. While most racers seem to have settled on the 40mm-ish mark for most events, it's good to know gravel bikes have the versatility built in that will let them tackle even the gnarliest terrain. Looking for the best gravel bike tyres on the market? Check out our link to the best tyres 
as reviewed by our independent test team in the description below. Now we can feel your eyes rolling a full 360 in your head. Gravel clothing, who on earth is this for and how on earth does it differ from road kit? While gravel specific clothing does sometimes feel like it has been designed for the sheer sake of having something new to talk about, there are some trends in this part of the market that we aren't in the least bit mad about. Gravel kit from the likes of Shimano, Rafa and Pedaled prioritises comfort, practicality and a casual cut over all-out performance. We've even seen gravel specific shoes with the likes of Shimano's RX8 and the Rafa Explore Power Weave giving up little in terms of performance compared to their road or mountain bike counterparts, all while improving walkability. If you're interested to learn more, you can watch our review of the Shimano RX8 shoe in the card above or catch the Rafa Explore Power Weave review in the links below. Generally speaking, Gravel Kit is also a lot less leery than Go Fast Road Kit, which helps if you don't want to stand out as a cyclist when you're off the bike. While there is absolutely nothing wrong with smashing about at a zillion watts with your head down, it's good to see brands acknowledging this isn't what everyone wants out of cycling. Finally, there is also nothing wrong in riding in the clothes you already have, some of which we bet look an awful lot like gravel kit. So before you give that bank card a little tickle, consider whether what you already have might be just fine. You never know, it might even start a whole new trend amongst the gravel fashionistas. Electronic gravel group sets have been around for a while, with Shimano releasing a DI2 version of GRX when it launched a few short years ago. SRAM's all new Explore group set is also only available in an ETAP wireless electronic configuration. However, electronic integration is moving beyond drivetrains alone in the world of gravel bikes. SRAM is currently the leader here with its Reverb AXS Explore, Dropper Post and Quark TireWiz pressure sensors working together with its drivetrains to create a full electronic ecosystem. Add in the potential for integration with e-bike motors and you've got the makings of a shred-ready gravel Tron bike. Looking elsewhere, there has long been rumour that Shimano is working on an electronic dropper post with a few patents for the system floating around online. It seems, as with road bikes, electronic tech on gravel bikes is here to stay, and we're only likely to see more of it in the years to come. Whether or not this is a good thing for riders is up to you. But so long as affordable and easily maintainable options still exist, we will always delight in seeing brands push the envelope of cycling tech. So there is our list of the top 5 gravel trends for 2022. As always, we're dying to hear what you think. Did we get it right? What did we miss? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon so every time we upload a video like this, you will get a notification.